How did you get involved in the event? Well, I've, I've worked with Jason before on uh, a release called Famine. A VHS release said that he did, and they wanted to do this extreme horror convention in Syracuse, and uh, he said, you want to come out? And I said, sure. So we did a VHS of my movie Caller, and uh, that paved the way for me to get out here so we could screen Caller and, uh, you know, show the audience something that they're not going to see for a while. So that's how he got involved. I know Jason from, from a ways back. So Jason released this to fund fund you coming here today? Yeah, it was like a VHS release of, I guess you could call the rough cut of the movie. Uh, and uh, it brought me out and I'm able to meet a whole bunch of people that I that I haven't met before, but I've known through Facebook and through the internet and stuff. So I was able to get out and do uh, some good interaction with some of the people because I have a lot of friends here. So it's been awesome so far and it just started. <laughs> it hasn't been buying a long time. So. You know how it is though, man. It's oh, like totally. Boys are boys and like yeah. you might not see anybody for 15 years. It, and it, it doesn't make, just, yeah, it's the same, you know. So you wouldn't be here today if this wasn't released. That's right. So because it's like you know, you, I it's, mean, it's an it's like a, it's the first one. Yeah. So it's not like there's a, a bunch of money reserved to bring guests out. So you either get here your own way type of thing, or you figure out a way to raise some funds to get out. And for for myself, it's like uh, um, I'm from Vancouver, Canada. So you know, I'm on the other west coast. And uh, the timing was good because I'm, I'm very busy back back uh, in Vancouver, but I was able to get this weekend off to come out. So, but that impresses me. I mean, do you, is this common in the community to find people who are going to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? It, well, Jason. Yeah, just Jason. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's uh, because he. I think he trusts me, and I trust him. That's going to be a good release. So I don't. I, I'm, I'm not. I don't work with any other VHS companies. That like some of the newer upstarts and stuff. I just. I have an exclusive thing with Jason that he can take all my films. So he does it justice. <laughs> so. I mean, how did you first meet Jason? Um, basically, uh, Facebook. You know, I. I mean, I. I. I grew up in this whole video VHS era. And uh, the whole resurgence and stuff, like I started going on the pages and buying stuff and sharing some of my own collection and stuff. And I met him through that. And then uh, it was, uh, he contacted me about doing a release of one of my movies. And that's really what happened. He, you know, because he's one of the forefront of the resurgence. You know, I think he's got like 23 releases now which is pretty damn impressive, so considering he started two years ago. And you felt confident he was gonna, I mean, you're happy with the... I, well, I saw the quality of, of uh, Scrapbook, Yeah. and it was awesome. The effort that was put into the packaging and the ser customer service, so I knew for myself to release something with him, I knew it would be it'd in good hands. So when he put out my movie Famine, I don't have one here that in front of me. Yeah, when he put out Famine, it was, uh, the packaging was super cool. It, it had like a poster, it had like a little a pennant that you get in high school. Uh, you know, he put like so much effort into it and like Collar has a huge amount of effort into it. The box set, which has three movies, nothing like that to that extent, has been done in the resurgence of VHS. Uh, it simply hasn't uh, to that extent of a giant box, three uh, movies, uh, exclusive stuff, stickers, patches, posters. It's just insane. So the amount of effort he puts into it, it blows my mind. So, and I've seen it with my own eyes, like by going to his house and seeing hundreds of boxes and I'm like holy crap how and I have to sign all of them it's you know but he does too so but just seeing it I'm just like the effort it's a true passion for it and it's not like a half-ass release like um, there's some other uh, upstarts lately it's and it's not exactly you know the best stuff but for his I can admit that it is right so you want it signed? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, 
you about the Marcus? Oh, okay, you're saying that. Yeah, I'm saying that. I talked to you about the redneck. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, y
I have to give Jason props for having the best fucking product and just simply being the, the, the fucking coolest guy to deal with, man. I mean, uh, Vulture Video, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I'm fucking old. I'm like in my 40s and shit. I grew up in, with this VHS shit, you know? I, a lot of people are like, oh, fucking VHS is so awesome and shit. That's great, but they didn't grow up with that shit. I did. <laughs> Being in my 40s, so I can say that. But I'm just saying, J Jason's fucking done a great job. Um, I want to thank you, Jason, for taking the time to put the additions together. I slept on this guy's couch. I've seen the passion he puts into these uh, releases that he does. It's fucking insane. It's like when we make movies. We put a lot of passion into it, and we try to deliver to, to the fans. And uh, the same is with Jason, and it's, uh, I think we all need to give Jason a big round of applause, please, for Vultra Video and uh, everything that he's done and everything that he's going to do. I mean, it's a fucking miracle that uh, everything's come together the way it is. Now, let's talk about Beneath the Underground. <laughs> Okay, this is a place where we get together, we shoot the shit, we talk about uh, all sorts of stuff, we, sh we share our love for the underground films, I just shared the fact that I finally got, uh, I finally completed my August Underground Trilogy, the snuff editions with Penance, and to me that's a huge fucking thing, because you got the fucking king of the underground sitting right there with Fred Vogel. Undisputed King, and this is a this is very fucking special for all you guys. It's very special that you're sitting here because uh, you know I've been around for a long time. Fred's been around a long time. We have you know people like Jason that's coming out. Uh, we have other filmmakers. Marcus has been around a long time too. Stephen uh, doing Unearthed. I mean, if I'm forgetting anybody, I'm sorry, but this is a very special occasion. You're not going to see this anywhere else. And you're sitting here now. It's kind of history, so enjoy it. <laughs> um, Thomas, uh, where are you, Thomas? He's somewhere here. Uh, I love the people that watch my movies. Thomas is amazing. Uh, I'm horrible at shipping my products. Uh, as everybody knows, and the fact that I got Thomas to do it, he's uh, really, he's made things so much better. So Thomas, I can't thank you enough for being a friend and uh, awesome to work with. Uh, Caller. We're going to play Caller. It is a, uh, uh, it's a, it's like the first sort of finished cut of the movie. Um, you'll be watching it, there'll be some sounds that are kind of missing. You might say, that's weird. Uh, if you buy the DVD, which uh, is going to be on Unearthed DVDs, just so you know, that's an announcement we're making. It's coming out on Unearthed in uh, a few months. Uh, it will be rectified. Uh, but the movie is very, uh, it's kind of different. It's not as cheesy as my other movies. It's uh, not as campy. It's kind of straight ahead uh, horror, uh, child molestation, rape, that type of stuff. It kind of gives a reason for people to be doing what they're doing. Um, that's Caller, okay? It's got uh, Nick Principe, who played Chrome Skull, uh, late to rest. He plays the main guy, and he was fucking awesome. Nick wanted to be here. Uh, he's in Rhode Island right now. He wanted to come and be here. He says hey to everybody that's coming out to Caller to support it. Um, we have Mackenzie Murdoch, who was in the movie Father's Day. Anybody see Father's Day? Yeah, he, he played uh, Fuck Man or Fuck Man. Or, yeah, anyways, he's in it. Uh, and then we have some plot digger regulars. Uh, Mahola, who was in Gutter Balls. We have Aiden, who was in Hangar. Uh, Ronnie, who was in Hangar. Um, the movie was shot in seven days. Um, more like six days, really, because the seventh day was like an hour of shooting. So it's like a miracle that there's even a movie that's like 70 minutes long. And uh, yeah, I just want you guys to enjoy it. Uh, you know, so I'm all about supporting the underground. There's filmmakers, um, I say, dude, I want to get your film. And they're like, oh, I'll send it to you. I'm like, dude, I'll fucking buy that shit. I mean, I don't give a shit. I'll fucking buy anybody's in independent film shit like that because I'm all about support. And I think everybody should be doing the same thing.
Because it's all, it's all about support and it's all about keeping the underground going, really. I mean, that's my opinion. Uh, I've had a few beers, so fuck it. <laughs> fuck it! I don't want to leave you on the hook, man. Give it up for God damn, I'll plug this fucking microphone! Our first, our first, our first. Our first fucking headline. Beatbox is shit? What? Okay, so I'm gonna hand the mic over to somebody here. Fuck, come on, man. I'm dying out here. <laughs> Alright. This is about as real as it gets right here, guys. I mean, Ryan Nicholson's a fucking joy to be around all the time. So, uh, one more time, just give it up for Ryan.